Justin Fields is a difference maker. That's why you have to protect him right now. Two reasons. One, when you hand him the ball, you have to make sure it's not like what happened to Tua last year. You take it back from you, sit him down, up, down, we don't know. When you hand Fields the ball, this is the Chicago Bears, one of the most iconic franchises in the history of worldwide sports, basically. The 85 Bears were such a thing. I always bring this up. There was an SNL skit, Saturday Night Live, before your time, um, where in the middle of the Bulls run, right, they're winning the championship every year. Michael Jordan, it was the Bears, right, <laughs> because that's how popular that, the 85 Bears means greatness in a way maybe no other sports team means. The 85 Bears, they have never had a good quarterback. This franchise has been waiting 36 years for a Super Bowl, has never had a good quarterback. They have, may have a great one now. Don't mess that up. That's one, okay? Two, how could it get messed up besides him just not being consistent enough as a rookie? I don't want to see him get killed behind that offensive line. He almost already did. That offensive line, look, Andy Dalton, the red rifle, he was once a good quarterback, right? He's still serviceable. Right now, if I'm the Chicago Bears, he's a tackling dummy. He's a tackling dummy until we get that offensive line straightened out. Sorry, that's what I'm doing. Because you can, and I know Fields gives you the best of Trubisky and Foles. He can outrun the, the defenders and he can throw the ball down the field, right? So behind a bad offensive line, he is safer than, say, Nick Foles. And you can still win, unlike with, say, Mitch Trubisky. But because of all that, I am not getting that kid's head knocked off. That is a terrible line protecting the passer. I want to see them get continuity, build that up, let, let fields get even better, more consistent, and then I'm making the switch, and I'm not looking back for 15 years. Now, Max, you just prove why Justin Fields should be the starter. All the, look at all the positives you just said about Justin Fields, right? Now, one of the things I did not like, I did not like that Andy Dalton said that it's his time now. Right? If it was Andy Dalton's time, his time was last year when Dak Prescott Harry, he meant got... now, like in the next minute or well, two. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, he had the opportunity last year when Dak Prescott went down and he threw for, what, 14 touchdowns and eight interceptions? That was his time. Or his time was in 2019 when he threw for 16 touchdowns and 14 in interceptions. His time is not right now. You want to know who time it is right now, Max? Justin Fields. Why? Because that Chicago faithful that you talked about deserves a spark. They deserve a winner. They Preach. deserve a guy to make them buy more tickets for 10 more plus years. That's what the Chicago faithful deserves. When you look at Justin Fields, right, he's electrifying. I looked at the game this past weekend. Andy Dalton, first third down. He gets sacked. Can't elude pressure. There's another opportunity. Couldn't elude pressure. I look at Justin Fields, fourth and three. What does he do, Max? With his legs, he picks up the first down. It's a reason why the fans are booing. They're booing because they don't want to see the red rifle. They want to see that young gun uh, under the helm taking ownership of this football team and leading the Chicago Bears to possibly a division title. They're going to have to go through the Packers first with that defense that they have. But if they have Andy Dalton as the quarterback, I don't think they have even have a chance. I think the players know that. I think the coaching staff knows that. But I think Matt Nagy is just being stubborn right now. And I don't like the fact – I don't like how he's handling the situation. You don't go in saying that Justin Fields is your backup and Andy Dalton is my starter. Why did you draft him in the first round? You have a quarterback competition. That's your job as a head coach. You just don't go in and name a guy, Andy Dalton, who hasn't showed you anything in the last two years as being a quarterback. You have to have a quarterback competition. What if he Give wants him to gun. sit, like he saw what happened with Patrick Mahomes, who sat a year, and then he came out and crushed it? But then it can go both ways, Molly. We've seen what happened to Hugh Jackson with Baker Mayfield in Cleveland. That ended sour. Hugh Jackson lost his job. We've seen it last year with the L.A. Hugh Rams. Jackson, Hugh Jackson lost his job because he did a very bad but job. But still, we look at the, Ra uh, the Chargers last year, Justin Herbert and Tyrod Taylor. If Tyrod Taylor doesn't get hurt, do we even know if Justin Herbert is the guy he is right now in the NFL? We don't know. That, we don't know. That's a good point. Herbert was, and maybe Justin Fields is that guy too, one of the reasons Herbert had arguably the greatest rookie season in the history of football, like he's on a short list, is because it was so unlikely. <clears throat> it was so unlikely for a rookie to perform that way. Yeah. You're right. Maybe Justin Fields is that, too, an extreme, extreme outlier. And Herbert also went a little lower down than the other mm -hmm. than the two, two other guys, right? A third, but, and, and Fields went fourth. But still, the idea is he wasn't seen by draft day as, like, one of the top two guys. That's a very strong point. I would bring up this. Short-term interest can interfere with your long-term health. It's the way the rules of the game are set up. It could be like energy policy, right? The, the climate's changing, but we need energy now, right? Let's keep burning fossil fuels. But the climate's changing, right? We uh, Short-term interest 
is what you're talking about, Justin Fields, 100%, no doubt about it. I'm afraid that, that those short-term incentives are so strong that you wind up compromising your long-term interests because your long-term interests is Justin Fields. And I don't want to see that compromise. It's possible that you're right. There's no doubt about it that because he can move, he can, he's better suited behind that offensive line. Because of we, we saw what Justin Herbert did last year, he, he, Fields can do something similar. I would also remind you it was great experience for Herbert last year. It's not like he wouldn't have been great in his second year, right, either. Yeah. And it's not like the Chargers challenged last year, and it ain't like the Bears are going to challenge this year. But I, I, I got to tell you what I'm worried about, though. I'm worried about that this locker room understands and knows that Justin Fields is that guy. But Matt Nagy goes with Andy Dalton. Now you create division in your locker problem. room. That's yeah. what I'm worried about, Molly. That's no, always, that's that's always the issue. I was just going to ask you this. Why do you think there's such a philosophy change when it was the days of Peyton Manning? It was like year three. That's when a quarterback would really go out and show out. And now it's right out of the gate. Guys are getting thrown into the fire. Is it just because they're more pro-ready? Um, I think they're, they might be more pro-ready, but I think it's just the will that teams want to win now. Mm -hmm. And they understand the pressure from probably management. They understand the pressure from fans. Yep. And, I, and I'll say another thing about Justin Fields. I think the NFL wants a Justin Fields instead of Andy Dalton as well because that brings a better Fourth. product. Huge yeah. market. By well, the way, here's their this. schedule right now. Uh, no slouch out of the gate. He would be facing the Rams. Obviously, Matthew Stafford would be there at the helm for the Rams. I, I would say this. I think the answer as to why quarterbacks start sooner now, yeah. number one is the realization that while they're on their rookie deal, it frees, you're underpaying a potentially a great point. player by so yeah. much, you have more resources to get. So everyone Better sees team. that rookie yeah. deal window as the time to do it. And even in the first year, if they're not great, the most persuasive argument, I think, is get them the experience now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.